all right welcome back to another video let's start this video by giving you the demo of this application and after giving you the demo i'll be asking one question so be ready for that as well so let me start here i am on dashboard page i can click on these filters right i can click on this as well also you can notice over here on this reload icon as well now let me switch to the page called appointments i'm an appointment page i can click on this and filter the results i can go to users i can add new users and this model pops up i can click on save and i see this validation let me close this i can change this user role and it got changed instantly i see this beautiful toast notification i can click on messages i can click on settings i can save those settings I can click on profile information and click on save changes. So this is the demo and the question is, is this Laravel plus view 3 single page application or is this Laravel and Liveware application? Now make sure to pause this video and you can give your answer on the comment box below and then I will get back to you. Alright, thank you for giving your answer on the comment box below and the correct answer is this application is Laravel and Liveware application. So don't get confused with the recent release of Liveware version 3. There are lots of cool features. And here I am using Wire Navigate to navigate between different pages without refreshing the page anymore. And this gives the feeling of a full fledged single page application, right? Which is really great. And yesterday I upgraded this multi purpose Laravel and Liveware application to uh, Laravel version 10 and Liveware version 3. And after making the upgrade, uh, there are a few issues that we need to take care of. So in this video, I will show you how we can address and fix those issues. So now let's get started. All right, let me open up the code editor and let me head over to aside.blade.psv file. So first of all, to switch between pages without refreshing the page anymore, we need to use wire navigate on our anchor tag. So let's use that first. So let me go to dashboard over here. And on this anchor tag, let's use wire navigate and let's do the same for users as well okay now let's try this let me click on users and it is refreshing for the first time let me click on dashboard it is not refreshing anymore right but now if i click on users again then it is refreshing and this is refreshing because we did one mistake while using xref so let me open up the console and show you the issue let me click on console and now let me click on dashboard and it is saying that I cannot read properties of undefined reading xrefs so because of this issues this is refreshing the page right now if i click on dashboard uh, this is giving the issue so we need to fix this issue so that we can navigate between pages without refreshing anymore so let's fix that let me search for xref and in our backend.js file uh, we were using xref over here but if i go over here on this profile link xref here we are defining xref but here uh, we don't want this to be converted into alpine component right if we want then we can simply fix that using x data equals to empty object then that will get fixed but actually instead of using xref which is related to alpine we can just simply use id so let's simply use id instead of xref let me change this to id let me search for other occurrences over here we are using xref so instead of xref let's use id right let's do the same for change passport link and these are not related to alpine so it is better to use this id let me click over here and let me change this to id as well let me click over here and let's change this to id let me click here let me change this to id click over here and let's send this to as username let me go over here and here we are using this xpref inside of the alpine component we have defined this as a component so let's not remove this so now let me go to the browser refresh the page and let's open up the console as well now let me click on user and we don't see the issue anymore right i can switch between pages without refreshing it anymore 
which is perfect now let's do the same for other pages as well let me go to a site.blade.psv file and let's add wire navigate for appointments as well wire navigate let's do the same for messages let's do the same for settings and finally let's do the same for profile now let me try this let me close this i can switch between pages without refreshing it anymore which is great and it gives the feeling of the pure single page application right so it is hard to distinguish either it is laravel v3 app or laravel library app which is really great now let me address another issue let me go to user let me change this to user and we see this lots of notification toast notifications right and this is weird so let me show you why this is happening let me open up the console and let me go to the network tab let me do no throttling and now if i click on dashboard let me make it bigger and here we are performing different requests one is for dashboard this is app.js file this is backend.js file and this is the cdn link and this is also coming twice right let me clear this and if i go to users then again we are making five different requests right and some of these are repeated right uh, this backend.js file is repeated app.js file is repeated this file is repeated this file is repeated let me clear this let me go to dashboard and again we are repeating this request actually we were defining that logic for twist notification inside of backend.js and we are listening for the updated event and we are displaying this message right so every time we are requesting that file so if i go to user and make these changes then we see a lot of twist notification because of that so while using liveware v3 and while using wire navigate make sure to move your script file to the head section so let me show you let me go to app.blade.psv which is in here resources views components layout and here we have these javascript files right so if you want to load this javascript files once then make sure to move this inside of the head tag so let me remove that and let me move over here inside of head tag okay so now let me show you the difference uh, let me refresh it uh, let me clear this let me click on user and here we are sending three requests let me clear this let me go to dashboard again here we are sending three requests right still we are sending three requests because if i go to admin.psp file and for the dashboard we are using this normal dashboard controller and we are returning this view right so instead of doing that let's use dashboard component and here let's do php artisan make liveware component instead of admin slash then dashboard component okay it got created so instead of using this controller let's directly use the component which is dashboard and if i go to dashboard controller we are using this view which is inside of admin and then dashboard so let me go over here and then let me copy this section and now let me go to dashboard dot blade dot psp which is inside of resources views liveware admin and then dashboard so here let me replace this with this code and now if i refresh this page this is working as expected but now instead of using normal controller and returning the view we are directly using dashboard component okay and now if i click on user we are sending three requests let me clear this we are sending three requests but here this time we are not sending the request to get uh, backend.js and app.js right which is great let me clear this let me click on users we are sending three requests but this request is related to alpine so let's remove alpine as well because by default with library version 3 we don't need to include that so let me go to 
app.blade.psp inside of resources views components layout and over here we are including this link for alpine now we don't need this link as well and it comes by default with library version 3. now let me refresh this once clear this let me go to dashboard and we are only sending one request right which is great let me click on users just one request if i clear this let me go to dashboard here we are sending one request let me clear this if i click on users then we are sending only one request and this is perfect we are sending one request so that backend the js javascript file will get loaded only once and now if i change this role to user then we see just one toast notification which is perfect i can switch to different pages and still i can see the one toast notification if i make changes which is great but now in this toast notification previously we used to see this message as well below this success right something like is your role changed successfully but here we don't see that message so let me show you how we can fix that if i go to list user component which is liveware component list user start psp file and after updating the role so let me go over here for change role here we are dispatching the event name is updated and as the second argument we are passing this array with the name of message and this value but while using liveware v3 instead of using array we need to use named attributes so here we need to do message is name and the value is role change to this role successfully okay now i can remove this array all right and after making this change if i change this to user now we see this message as well which is great so make sure to change this everywhere because previously we are passing array so now with library version 3 we need to use named arguments and here we need to pass the name and here as value so we have the similar issue over here on profile as well so if i click on save changes we just see the success message so make sure to change that as well behind the scene i will fix those and now let me go to appointments if i click on add new appointments we are refreshing the page uh, but we can fix that let me go to list appointments.blade.psv file let me search for create appointment so here add new appointment we can add wire navigate now let me come over here refresh it if i click on add new appointments then we are on this page without refreshing it anymore but here are some issues that we need to address so this is broken and the color picker is not working date picker is it's not working as expected right so in the next video i will show you how we can fix this as well so i hope you're really excited about library version 3 and i hope this video was helpful for you make sure to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one